I would be found on my neighbor's lawn, passed out, she would drag me home. I would be found in the middle of the street, passed out, and drag me home. I don't even remember how I would get from point A to point B. You know, I started rounds of PCP after that, and it wasn't until I was probably about 16 or 17 years old that I became a full-blown meth addict. My mother was gone and out of my life by the time I was six months old. And she was a heroin addict and a prostitute in and out of prison. And my mom had passed away from heroin when I was right before my 17th birthday. And I was on a path of self-destruction. And then I remember turning 18 and looking at myself in the mirror and hearing this voice so clearly tell me, you're gonna end up just like her. And all of that really was just a cover to dealing with the emptiness that I felt inside of growing up, of not having my mother around. I was um, physically abused by someone very close to my family. You know, all the other things that come with that, the drugs and the lifestyle, were all just symptoms of deep-rooted hurt and loneliness. My identity was stolen from me. By eighth grade, I had gotten in a really bad car accident um, and never went back. And so I had no education. Um, I didn't even know how to read. So using drugs were just a way of life. And when I entered the doors of Teen Challenge, you know, they hand you this big Bible. <laughs> and uh, I was lost with it. And I remember two weeks of being at Teen Challenge, getting ready to walk off campus. In my heart, I wanted what was being offered there. And I remember getting ready to walk off that grounds and I hadn't really said that to anybody, but in my heart, I wanted what was there. I just wanted to come back when I was ready. And I felt the Holy Spirit tell me that if I left, that I wouldn't be able to come back. And I remember in anger and in frustration that I, the Lord was making me stay in this place called Teen Challenge. And the Lord just began to tell me, you need to know what my word has to say about who I am and who you are in me. So I graduated Teen Challenge uh, in 2008, and then I went into the Teen Challenge Ministry Institute and graduated in 2009. One thing that I struggled with so much was anger. You know, it was a way for me to really protect myself. And I just remember the Lord breaking those things down in me every time we would worship, every time His word would be shared, and just practical ways of trusting Him and opening my hands and letting Him take my heart and really heal it. The Lord brought a, a man into my life that really has, God has used to continue the healing, to love me past my faults, to stay beside me despite the struggle that I go through inside. And God has brought so much healing through my husband and through um, my children, which we have three children now and my life is so full, it's abundant, without measure. They won't ever have to go through the things that I went through, or my husband, what he's gone through. And it's all by the grace of God. And they teach me, they teach me more than I feel like I teach them, of childlike faith, of trust, of innocence. You know, this whole journey hasn't been easy, but it's been so worth it, so worth it. I wouldn't change anything.